Nokia 3250 lower block disassembly. Be sure to be connected to the earth connection box and your ESD wristband. You will need the following tools. The SRT6, metal tweezers, the SS45 camera removal tool, a dental pick, a torque driver with a Torx Plus size 6 bit and a Torx Plus driver size 6. Always protect the windows with plastic film. Remove the battery if it is inserted. Carefully pry open the camera window with the SRT6 and remove it. Unlock and remove the camera with the SS45. Unlock the lower cap cover with the SRT6. Remove the lower front cover and the key mat assembly numeric. Turn the assembly over and remove the lower back cover. Lift off the key mat assembly music. Peel off the Corex cable support tape. Carefully open the connector with the dental pick. Twist the upper block round to prevent pressure on the joystick when undoing the screws. Undo the screws in the order shown and remove them. Twist the block back and continue with the next screws in the order shown. You can now separate the parts. Slide off the lower side rail right and the lower side rail left. The disassembly procedure is now complete. Assembly. Slide on the lower side rail right. And the lower side rail left. Connect the two blocks. Insert the screws. Twist the block round to prevent pressure on the joystick. To avoid damaging the plastic threads, first turn the screws to the left to engage the thread and then tighten them lightly. Apply the correct torque in the order shown. Twist the lower block round and continue tightening the next screws in the order shown. Turn the lower block back to its former position. Partially insert the connector and use the SRT6 carefully to close it completely. Protect the connector with new coax cable support tape. Position the key mat assembly music, noting the guide pins.
and snap the lower back cover over it to secure it. Twist the lower block round. Place the key mat assembly numeric in position. Secure all the parts with the lower cap cover. Note the alignment key before positioning the camera. Insert the camera into its housing and push down evenly into place with the other end of the SS45. Insert the camera lens assembly and press it into place. Check the window for correct positioning and cleanliness.